Hello everybody, Sift here again with another potato run and today I'm gonna be playing the engineer again, the guy with the machines. And why would I go with engineer? Well, the reason is very simple. Uh, first of all, let's read what he does. 10 engineering, all engineering modifications are increased by 50%, that includes the 10% engineering. You start with one wrench, structures spawn close to each other, and all damage modifications are reduced by 50%. We don't care, we all go with engineering, and let's actually go with the wrench, which takes from damage, but whatever. I'm gonna go the fully one because I don't want to deal with that. And yeah, let's go. Why would I want to go with this guy? Well, because it has been a long time since I went engineer, and, uh, you know, I, I remember that uh, I do like engineering, I guess. Uh, now, why do I not go to the difficulty like I did yesterday? Well, because, honestly speaking, yesterday, Ron was fun but at the end we lost uh because of course we we're playing on higher difficulties i think i mean i don't know man but honestly speaking i don't i just don't want to deal with inflation i think that's it let's go with hp region here uh too many damage no let's roll into engineering if i can one armor that's good let's take the armor smg not really let's roll into engineering if i can let's go with cheaper shops let's go with i have luck i found the wrench we're gonna buy the wrench let's leave the luck for later and now we're spawning two to three turrets in case you don't know how this works the wrench just says spawns a turret that shoots bullets dealing 24 damage um, yeah, that's what it does, and it just happens instantly. And his gu this guy's passive, once again, is that uh, you don't need to reroll. And I should have definitely rerolled there. I should have definitely, definitely, definitely rerolled the shop, because I could have had a chance to find another wrench, and the rerolls costed only 4 or 5 or whatever, so it was a very, very small, um, what is it called, investment, just to get those triple rerolls going, even though I had locked down the luck already i'm not sure if i should go for luck to be completely and not really honest but i don't care about this as far as i know uh, now that there are weights in this let's go to engineering Th that's by the way the reason <laughs> when i said in the beginning i'm going to explain the reason of why i want to do this uh, this is the reason because now there is uh, they have introduced weights let's go with this let's get the mini alien uh, on items so each character can find items. we're gonna of course buy that we do want the HP. actually you know what let's buy all of these uh, i do want the dodge and the harvest and these are relevant damage type for us i mean i am melee but whatever and um a region is also not exactly relevant, but five life is really important. And yeah, as I was saying, the reason I want to do to play this character is not because I have been, it has been a long time, but mostly specifically because they now introduced the, that each character has some items weighted. Uh, so some items have a higher chance to get found by each respective character. And I'm assuming that this character has a higher chance of finding, you know, free turrets and turret related things. So I wanted to see how what the difference is going to be in comparison to my old run. Now I have no idea what the old run looked like. If you can, you 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 can go and look at it. I'm assuming that the editor has already. Put up here the, the card so uh, yeah you can go and look it up if you want so to do so let's roll into uh, luck uh, let's roll maybe go oh, i'm a god i'm a god i know when to reroll man i know when to roll let's take this lock lock i mean of course these are good let's roll for four uh, let's get this too. Uh, although, once again, as I said, I do do melee damage with my wrenches, but honestly, I don't care enough about it to actually, you know, care about it. Uh, at some point, we will be doing, like, almost no damage whatsoever, but honestly speaking, I do want to do a run where it's all about the machines, and I, I, I don't want to be part of the run itself at all. I want just the machines to be the godlike entity in this run, and then whenever I go away from the machines, I'm gonna be in a panic state. <laughs> like, oh no, we're away from our machines! Of course, it it would be really really nice to find all those crazy uh, don't move items uh, and most importantly it would be nice to find my own item for once you know the pickup range global pickup range free engineering we're gonna take that we're gonna go with all of these bye 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 and uh, we're gonna also buy this and the wrench honestly the screwdriver with the mines 46 bomb damage on the mine that sounds really good but i want to try to stick specifically only to the wrenches today so let's do that i'm still locking that down let's reroll here is a wrench let's get that that's why you reroll man that's what you reroll and let's continue i explained yesterday why you should always roll even though you cannot buy anything because at the end of the day, it's more important to find an item and lock it down in a cheaper price than deal with a higher and more expensive price, even though you will get a free reroll out of it. Let's continue. And alongside other things that I explained yesterday. So uh, you can go and watch that if you want uh, a more eager explanation. And if you don't want to go watch that, uh, then I guess you can comment down below and tell me to explain it again. And uh, if I want to, then I will. Because as you most likely don't want to go and watch another video, I can also not reply to comments. You know, <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> that is a thing. Everybody can do whatever they want because we live in a free country. I mean, not, not everybody does, but still, we... I, I'm assuming that the majority of you guys do, as the statistics say. So let's actually go for 45 range no i'm kidding let's go one armor safety first i'll get the wrench get this let's reroll uh, smg no let's roll this is good i always enjoy a bit of defense let's reroll shuriken etc no i cannot reroll anymore um two hp region i mean in general hp region is very bad 
And uh, I, I shouldn't even chase it down. What I should chase down is the turret that heals us. Because it's going to be healing us like for 4 or 5. Depending on how much engineering I have right now. I'm not sure if damage actually affects engineering. I'm inclined to say it does. Because without any engineering upgrade whatsoever, I have seen the healing turret heal for 3 and 4. I think. I mean, my memory isn't the best. But... Uh, I could easily test that, by the way. I could easily just look up how much damage we do before and after getting something. Like, the turrets right now do 40 damage. Maybe they're gonna be doing more next. Uh, let's try to get an item if we're lucky enough. Nope. Let's run back to my turret campsite. Go, 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 go. Nice. We got a bunch of coins here at the very end. I enjoy this a lot. Would be nice if this guy had, like, a passive view. Turrets go slowly towards you or something. Percent crit chance. No, let's reroll here. 6% dodge. Might as well go for the defenses. 3D. No, no. Uh, not all of these. 6 max life. That is a safe option. I'm gonna take it. Let's get the wrench. Uh, let's reroll. What is this? Speed and life steal. Honestly, no. Let's reroll again. And now wrench. Very nice. Let's buy that. And now we got my first ledge of a blue wrench. And now, how does this work? Well, the good thing with wrenches is that every time you upgrade them, they give you a different turret, which is insane as an idea, in my opinion. And now we got the turrets that shoot flames, dealing 3D times, uh, 3T times 5 damage, which is, uh, you know... 65 damage. <laughs> that was the pause of me calculating the you know amount. So from 41 to 65, I, I enjoy that a lot. Ooh, yes, yes to that, yes to that. I, I, I don't want to be moving that much anyway. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Let's actually roll for 18, to be honest. And yeah, that's it this time for real though. So oh, for engineering, yeah, let's go. You see, the reroll was worth it for sure. But say, if now you lose two slots of the free reroll, you're about to go, you could have gotten, yeah, but I also uh, will get uh, the plus, the theoretical money back by those specific items being locked in and not getting inflated next round. I mean, the, I, I still don't know what exactly inflation is. I'm under the assumption that it's 5%. Uh, like, I, I'm just gonna assume that the inflation is just random human numbers. So I would say it's like 2 or 5% on on, difficult, on this difficulty. And then it's either going to be 5 or 10% on the, the tier 2. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm just pulling numbers randomly here. So... I, I just don't want to deal with it. Let's continue. In general, I hate inflation in these type of games because it, it literally is fighting your ability to get completely busted at the end of the run. Like the whole idea of if, if this game did not have inflation, then at the, the last five levels, like from wave 15 to wave 20, you would be gaining so many upgrades and it would be completely busted and fun. Uh, three defense for sure. Here we go. We get the healing totem. I think this is the most important one between all those. Actually, all of these are insane. Uh, we will buy first healing. Then engineering, minus four damage, plus four engineering. Well, this is definitely going to help us. Let's take this and let's lock this down and let's go. Uh, HP region is also relevant now that I got my healing totem, as uh, that thing will scale its healing pretty much uh, a lot. So it gets only 5% from our engineering, but so how much engineering do I need to get? Every 20 points of engineering is one more healing on that thing. And I think it starts at three, so that means we already are above the first threshold, which is true, right? We have like, how much engineering? 45. Wait, what? Why is it healing 3? I guess then normally the baseline is 2. I get Maybe the baseline is 1. And whenever I find it, I have like 150 or 200% damage boost. And then the 1 becomes a 3. Maybe something like that's happening. I'm not sure exactly. Right now, my, my turrets aren't really the, the most powerful version that could possibly be, of course. We are still playing with the kitty leagues here. But yeah, let's continue. Man, I really hope the dev adds a patch uh, in one of these following days because I'm slowly inclined to go over to modded uh, things so we start finding more things. I do know that there are a bunch of you guys that don't actually want to see mods, uh, which is a fair assessment, of course. Uh, let's recycle that for engineering for sure. Engineering. What? Uh, not only does this guy find the things he wants, he actually... What? What is happening? What is happening? One mine every 12 seconds, 7 damage. By the way, attack speed does affect your turrets and your mine laying, etc, etc. So attack speed is the one thing I should definitely go for if I can. This takes 1 to 1 from your engineering. No, it doesn't. Because I have because I have 60 and it does 70 damage and I have minus 4% damage. So I have no idea how this is supposed to work. Let's... Um, yeah, we're gonna keep these. Honestly, I'm gonna also keep this. And let's go. The more max life I have, the more wiggle room I have to run out of the turret spawn range and then run in the turret again. Of course, we got wave 9, which is the best wave of the whole game, as always. I really enjoy that we found our healing totem. I really enjoy that we found general things. Uh, I would hope to get more turrets, but uh, yeah, healing, to healing totems are also turrets, so there's that, I guess. And we're about to find the mines, too, so everything is in good. Good, good. Everything is going very well over here. Let's continue destroying everything. Now, if I don't find specifically the sift item, 
Uh, maybe, maybe finding three or four items that give you pickup range could be enough. Uh, I don't need to cover the whole screen anyway. I need to only cover the things around my base. So, because most of pawns will be dying close to my base. And here we are out in the wilderness trying to cut down trees while risking our uh, livelihood. Uh, and also, most likely, money. I mean, if I found a single item in those trees, it would have been worth it. And now, I don't think it was. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, we are super tanky. And even if opponents hit us, we still have the healing totem to protect us anyway. So, we are insane here. And I don't think we're going to be losing anytime soon. We find the totem, let's go. Spawns a little guy that slowly shoots 10 piercing lightning. Uh, projectiles around him for 70 damage. This is marked green. Green means it's affectable by things. Is this affected by how much uh, engineering I have? Does it get more projectiles? I'm going to look back to it at the end of the run. We have 6 right now. It has 10 piercing. We're going to see in the future. So, I would say 9 dodge. Yeah, I would say 9 dodge. It, it, it's, a, yeah, it's, a, it's a blue upgrade and not 9 max HP. I will just take the good upgrades when I find them. Uh, we buy this, we buy this, we buy this, we buy this. Let's roll. Another wrench, very nice. We continue getting our little fire turrets going on. Uh, three max life and lose almost instantly if I'm a bit unlucky. I want to risk this, to be honest. Yeah, let's risk this 50% chance to instantly attract material. No, no, you can take it up to seven times. Uh, at five times, at six times, this is already 90%. So at seven times, it's 100. I could take this. I never, ever have taken this ever. I Most of the time, I just try to... Should I try this? I could try this. Ah, let's try this, man. I've never taken this. Let's also take this. Let's uh, let's roll the dice a bit. And we found even better items. <laughs> what is even happening, man? What is even happening? What a god roll, man. What god rolls are we getting today? Um, I would say let's go with mines and engineering. I can only buy three out of these. Uh, two out of these, two out of these. So mines is a guaranteed because it's the cheapest. And then I would say let's go with three engineering and five speed against the crit chance against actually going for flame turrets because I do want those burst of 58s and those burns don't happen that fast all the time. So let's take this. I'm going to lock this down. Of course, I do want the lock. And um, yeah, let's go. I'm about to die. As long as the crit spawn though, we will be surviving. Okay, we got six and six and now another double sixer and we are full life again. Oh no, we were about to get hit. Oh no. By the way, flame fire, as far as I know, don't stack. It does not stack. So if anything, I should not even try to go for the fire. I should uh, try to instantly transition over to, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? Yeah, if, if, instead of getting five blue turrets, uh, I should try to get like uh, two to combine two of them into purple. So if I want to buy that blue turret that's, uh, that's, uh, that appeared, I should actually, instead of buying, uh, instead of combining two grays and have like a million blues, I should just combine two blues and get one purple and like another blue and let's and leave the other ones to be gray. Something like that. Uh oh, let's go for the trees, of course, because trees might give us items. Nope, they didn't. Let's run back to our healing station. And let's continue going through everything here. As we are pretty much almost damage immune in this area. Uh, we're not actually damage immune, but the thing is that we have so many turrets here that hit pretty much everything that might appear. That that gives us the damage immunity. Let's roll here. 9 max life, 9 dodge, 2 armor. I have already 10 armor, so I would say 9 dodge. And that is going to give me the most... Wow, what is even happening? Uh, we're going to take that. Uh, we're going to combine two blues, as I said, and buy another blue. And we're going to also take this. Let's see if there is going to be a difference. So this, first of all, does 125% of our damage. So this should definitely showcase if this uh, loses damage by the 2%, or because it does more than 100. So from 108, it now does 108. So engineering does not get affected by damage. I love it. I love it. Unless, unless my uh, passive kicked in. No, there is no chance. Because the passive made it, instead of me losing 2% damage, I lost 1% damage. So it should still show. At 108, 1% does affect it. So we definitely, definitely don't have that issue. Uh, we're gonna definitely buy this, and uh, I'm thinking about Piggy Bank after that. We're on wave 11. The way I'm playing this game, Piggy Bank is definitely gonna pay for itself. So I would say we buy the Piggy Bank first. Actually, we're gonna buy. Yeah, we're gonna buy the Piggy Bank first, and let's go. The way I'm playing this, and let's continue push opponents back with my super wrenches. I would enjoy getting like X6 legendaries, of course, but uh, if it happens, it happens, you know. I also need to keep an eye out of this this guy's electricities to see if he actually scales. He attacks only when opponents are near. Okay, that's nice. Uh, does he attack often enough? I should also invest into attack speed, by the way. Uh, as I said, uh, as I have been told, actually, uh, eyes and the mines the mines definitely get affected by attack speed. I'm not sure if the I'm not sure if the turrets get affected by attack speed, but the mines I can guarantee you are affected by attack speed. Uh, by, by that I mean that you lay the mines faster. 
So if the turrets also get affected, of course, that means that attack speed gives me healing and DPS, of course, but it also gives me healing. That's the, the main takeaway here. Like if I can get the turret to heal me every second instead of every three seconds, well, I will be healing 12 every second. So that's that's very powerful, as you understand. And they're super tanky too. Yeah, that's it. Let's continue. Uh, eight dodge against one armor. Honestly, yes. Uh, nine speed. Honestly, no. Two armor. 15 luck. Let's get 15 luck. I mean, my armor is irrelevant now. We're super tanky. I have one of these, right? Yeah. Let's uh, let's take all these three. Let's roll. I don't need healing. Power generator. The faster I move, the more... Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is bad for us. We found a wrench. Very nice. I would say let's get another purple one. Yeah, let's get another one of those uh, piercing bullets. And let's only have one fire and then the rest are normal threats. Let's roll for... Actually, I don't want to roll. I want to make money out of the piggy bank. I don't want this. I don't want mines. Let's go. Make money out of the piggy bank, like 10 coins. Let's continue going around. I really enjoy the fact that we not only do we have the piggy bank now, but we also have harvesting. It's not a lot, but, you know, it's honest work. So it does its job. That's the main takeaway of the harvesting. In general, you should have a bit of harvesting whenever you can, you know, be lucky enough to find it. Uh, by the way, I'm doing a budget version of my you know, my unique relic, trying to get those crocodiles to give me a bit of items. By the way, if you get seven crocodiles, you get minus 14% uh, lifesteal. So it's like you abandon completely the lifesteal path to get... I, I don't understand the balance behind that, by the way. I, I think the crocodile maybe shouldn't even exist, so to speak. I mean, I don't actually mean it, uh, but if you think about it, the crocodile is... You will be... You, for, let's say you want to get the, everything that's magnetized. If you go the crocodile path, it's seven upgrades, okay? So you have to pay seven times, and then you also lose 14% uh, lifesteal. If you go the sift path, you have to be lucky enough to find it. Let's go range. You have uh, for engineering. <laughs> Vigilant ring. This this does not affect my wrenches, though, so we're not going to buy that. We're going to buy this. Reroll. Uh, let's buy another tool. Re oh, engineering and armor, yes. We roll. Projectiles bounce. Your projectiles? Mine or everything? I, I could take this if I knew how it worked. The turrets definitely do not get affected by damage, but I'm not sure if this is even in general useful for us. It just says your projectiles. Okay, so... I guess I would assume turrets also count. I'm, I don't need it anyway. Whatever, let's roll. Piercing damage, damage, all of these are useless. Let's uh, reroll. I think we should stop here. This gives engineering, of course. Let's buy that. And uh, yeah, let's go. Next round, of course, we're gonna buy that. Not yet. Re-engineering is, of course, pretty decent-ish. Although for 100 plus coins, it's not really that worth it, to be completely and utterly honest. But still, 3 engineering is 3 engineering. We're gonna lose crit chance. I'm not even sure if the twits can crit. So there's that, I guess. Uh, right now, I don't think anything can crit, to be honest. I think I have negative crit chance anyway. So, it is what it is. Let's continue going around. Some people have been telling me that uh, I should stop saying that the game is easy when I'm not playing at difficulty 5. Uh, that's a fair assessment, to be honest. Uh, it's not about... By the way, when I say it's easy, I'm not talking specifically about the whole game is easy and I destroyed it and whatnot. I I'm just talking about the specific run, right? Like... Do you understand the concept of that? I think it's very understandable what I'm trying to say here. Like, the moment I started mentioning it, I think everybody understood that... Um, you know, it, it's one thing to say the whole game as a game, the potato is easy, and it's another thing to say that this run is easy, because it's not like I'm flexing. It's not like, oh, it's the easiest run of my life. Yeah, it is my, the easiest run of my life. Like, it's still factual. You know, it's, <laughs> it's still true. Burning activates faster. Might as well. I mean, I have burning things. Attacks burn, no. Uh, for engineering, yes. How much heal do my healing do? Where's my healing to them? This still does 10 piercing bullets. This is 7 now. Uh, pick up range and harvesting. I would say yes. I would say yes to this too. I would actually say yes to all of these, to be honest. So let's just buy all of these. And when I say all of these, I mean lock these down and uh, literally get a bunch of coins and then buy them all next round. This was a 200 percent, 200 coins, coins gained just now. I just coin, I just gained 200 coins by doing that. I mean, maybe not because I also didn't buy the harvesting thing, which could have given me 10 plus 11 plus 12. Ah, but I still think those coins are better uh, served here. Now, theoretically, I can sit around and do nothing and literally play this as if I am the the uh, character I was playing yesterday. <laughs> the that that's the downside of this of that character, man. The fact that literally every character can play like he. Like, right now, my build is good enough to survive. So, theoretically speaking, I could easily just stop buying anything from the shop until the very end of the run, and then at the very end, just spend all my money. And because at the very end, you find better items, theoretically speaking, I am incentivized to actually play this way. 
So, uh, yeah, there's that, I guess. Now you might say, yes, yeah, so that's that's why inflation is a thing, Sif. That's why inflation is a thing, so that you cannot do it. And to that I have to say, why though? Like, why am I not supposed to do that? Why am I not supposed to bank all my money, increase the high risk, high reward thing to the, through the roof, and then the dev comes in and is like, no, 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 I don't want you to risk reward. I want you to just buy the things. A uh, thousand, yeah, let's, let's lock this down. That's 200 coins right here. I will buy this though. So let's actually get only the coins for the rest of these. Uh, actually, that was there was no reason for me to take that. <laughs> I think I lost more money by, uh, than I, I could have gained by taking that. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I still enjoy the whole idea of we are through it over here and we survive and I don't need to get anything else. I will buy a bunch of things at the end though. Don't think that, oh, Sif now is not gonna spend this money. No, no, we will spend our money, but at the end. Because right now everything is dying anyway. Like, yes, my... Uh, yes, my... What are these called? Yes, my wrenches don't do enough damage. We almost died there, by the way. But still, uh, whenever something comes in the turret range, they do get hit for a lot and they do die. So we're really good here to go. And honestly, I do enjoy this. I do enjoy the fact that we're not completely and utterly busted. It's only this specific area that we're completely and utterly busted. And it's still not even as busted as 6 SMGs plus 1000% damage would be. And not even 1000. 6 SMGs doing 10 damage each would destroy everything over here in comparison to these machine guns uh, trying their best with 100 damage per shot. Continue going in big circles, picking up every XP we find, 1,400, very nice. I start with a 1,000, by the way. Let's reroll here, Set for engineering, no questions asked. Um, let's continue this idea, let's continue this trend. I will do a big buyout, at the, not at the end, not at the end. I think next wave onwards, we will do the buyout. Like, uh, I will stop playing with the piggy bank. I, I will try to start investing into actually buying things. Now, the thing is that the rerolls are going to become extremely expensive now. And also, the shop itself is going to be inflated to the point where I'm not going to be able to buy a thousand things. Uh, but still, I will try to, you know, bring my money down to, I would say, about six to eight, six to seven hundred, somewhere around there. Like, I'm going to be spending about a thousand coins per round if I can until the game ends, pretty much. So there's that, I guess. Now we're slowly seeing the fact that because I forgone, I have forgone so many upgrades lately, you can now see that we're not as powerful as we could have been. Like opponents start doing damage to us and it's not really that easy to go away from the turret area as um, yeah, more and more buffers appear and in general we have some issues, but it is what it is. As long as I'm close to these things, we should be healing once in a while to fall again. So I'm not really that afraid anyway. Let's run now towards the turrets. Let's hope. Oh, nice. We got an item. Uh, I, I meant run towards the trees as well, I meant to say no towards 2,000 coins, very nice. That's useless for us money. Uh, let's get three engineering and the time has come to actually start buying things, so let's buy all these. Let's roll. I'm gonna stop at zero. I got a purple wrench right away. I would say let's combine two fire wrenches and let's continue having purple wrenches. This is uh, irrelevant, it's not even gonna make its money back. It will give us XP, I know. I think that everybody's saying here, laser trade, very nice. And now laser trade on top of everything else we have, let's buy that. More enemies and more damage, really useless. I would say let's combine these two and let's buy another grey one. Let's re -roll. Yeah, this is useless, other than the fact that we gain more enemies. And let's go with more enemies, whatever. And now range, very nice. Uh, more max life. I don't need more max life, I would say. But I can buy it. Let's roll again for 48. Melee damage, range damage, really useless for us. Let's roll one more time. And I think we're good here. Fun hour to it. Let's buy it. Uh, Fun hour wrench. You know what, we're gonna buy these next round. I should also have locked that down, but whatever. Let's actually play with this. And from the next round on, we're gonna have even more money. And we're gonna be even safer. Where it's appeared in this area, very nice. And uh, yeah, let's just go on. You see, you can easily spend the money if it wasn't for the fact that the rules are expensive and uh, the inflation exists in general. I really, really, really would like to see a version of this game. First of all, uh, as far as I know, a modder, I'm like, I'm talking with a modder lately and uh, he's trying to first of all do my color, my, what is it, my rainbow chest idea. And then he also gave me uh, the reroll idea. I have said that it would be nice if the rerolls didn't cost it didn't scale, but just costed specific things like 5, 10, 15, etc. So that at the very, very end of the game, you don't have to go through that. I would also put on top of that to maybe remove inflation completely uh, as an idea, just to see how it would feel. Because uh, I, I, I enjoy risk-reward, man. How can I say this? Like, uh, the fact that inflation exists removes risk-reward completely from the game. You, you cannot amass money to later try to buy legendary things at the end. Because if you try to do that, those legendary things are going to be costing seven, fa you know, six, five, six, seven, eight thousand, a hundred coins. No thousand. Let's go with this. Of course, we're going to take that. Uh, and yeah, let's start buying things. We have so much money. Let's buy this. Let's buy this. Let's reroll 25. And we found a legendary wrench, uh, which we can buy, by the way. So, you know what? I'm not going to buy this right now. This is a bit too expensive for my liking. I'm going to roll once. Wow. 10 harvesting and harvesting increase even faster. 
Ah, fair enough. Let's go with everything moves slower. That's your wall. One more time. Okay, screwdriver level legendary. Honestly, I don't even want it. I know it's a mine every three seconds, but whatever. Yeah, we're gonna lock this down and not spend our money. Let's amass a bit more money and let's continue. So let's go with it. I saw the XP gain, but whatever. And uh, we have two more waves to go. So this wave, I'm gonna spend like a thousand plus. And then the next wave, I'm gonna start with 500 and I'm gonna spend another thousand plus. And then the game's gonna end pretty much. So the, the piggy bank, I think made its money worth. I mean, I'm not sure. This, all these math things, like if you want to understand if the piggy bank is worth it, if it's worth it to multiply, keep your money and amass it, or if you you should just buy the things the moment you find them, all of those things. So uh, for you to know if it's a good idea to do that or not, you do have to actually know exactly how much inflation is, and you do have to be able to, you know, calculate these things. Like, okay, if inflation is 5%, and then every round the things become 5% more expensive, and I increase my money by 20%, and theoretically, in the future, then blah, blah, blah. You know, all of that is just mud, in my opinion. It just muddies the easy math that could be done with, you know, inflation didn't exist. <laughs> you could be like, okay, it's better to always keep the money, and then in the future, you know, invest it into upgrades at the very end of the run. So that's what I would like to uh, see the game without those things and see how it would be the difference wouldn't be that big by the way it would just activate more th uh, things that are not able to happen right now let's buy this and okay almost made a mistake combine this and buy that that's uh reroll what to engineering on this i forgot that reroll and find the turret very nice and six engineering we're gonna buy both of these i'm gonna roll one more time and see what we find uh, alien is useless let's roll one more time maybe in front of wrench is very nice i'm gonna buy them next round because this is a bunch of money and we already found the items anyway so uh let's actually go is the blue useless? No, the blue isn't useless because I can combine two and buy the blue too. Yeah. So let's actually go. I'm going to have a bunch of legendaries. I didn't even check what the legendaries do. So these things do spawn a thread that shoots explosive bullets doing 205 damage in an area. Okay, and it's these things. Do. <laughs> you know what the sound of explosions is, right? Like flunk. <laughs> Something like that. And for some reason, it is a. Uh, for some reason, it's. Uh, what are these things called? The, the, the flunk sound. I don't remember what exactly. Mortar, yeah. The, these things are mortars for some reason in my mind. Like the flunk, a, a, anything that is a bazooka type thing that shoots out RPGs or whatever is always. The, the sound effect is always uh, as if it's a. I already forgot what it's called, man. <laughs> what is it called? Man, somebody commented and told me that I am as if I am like a, a cat that forgot what he wants to do and always like just just straight up forgets what he's doing or always changes the topic and then never comes back to it. And in general, I'm very... Sometimes I'm obnoxious to watch because I say one thing, I do another thing, and then I also forget about what I was talking about. Mortar was the, the thing, by the way, the sound effect thing is mortar. Let's run down the tree, if I don't die. Thank you for the tree. <laughs> I lost so much money for the tree. Harvesting, luck. No, let's roll here. Can I have to engineer whatever? Let's take that. Okay, this is the last round, so I cannot buy this. Let's combine. Uh, buy this, buy this. I have four legendary. So right now I have four explosive turrets. Actually, let's continue buying another laser turret. Roll 28. None of these. Another wrench. Yes, I have already wrench. Another healing to them for a nine, by the way. Another crocodile. Might as well pick everything up. And uh, even more mines over 12 seconds. Uh, does this thing still shoot out 10 at a time? It still does 10 at a time. Maybe it increases if I have more attack speed? I'm not sure. There is nothing that says increase projectiles fired. So there is definitely nothing that says that. I will not reroll to try to find something. We're just going to buy the good defenses. And I think that's it. And uh, yeah, my turrets right now before we start the run is our four rocket turrets doing 209 damage each. Two laser turrets doing 173 damage each. And then on top of that, I have another two laser turrets. So that's four laser turrets. I have one Tyler that shoots uh, 133 shocks around it. And uh, we have uh, three healing turrets healing us nine. We don't have that much of a... We don't have that much of... Oh, and we also have one simple turret. We don't have that many things. We didn't find a single uh, laser uh, rocket turret. Although, to be honest, to be completely honest and clear about some things, we didn't try to find things, right? If you remember, for five or six waves, we were just waiting for the money to amass. So I, I traded off a bunch of rerolls for i don't know a thousand coins two thousand coins and i think it's worth it i think our power level actually became powerful a lot more powerful than it could have been and uh, we have one right about here so this was a 15 seconds kill on the boss when i say 15 i in reality mean 17 i mean 80 i mean 19 seconds kill on the boss really nice one of the faster ones uh, of course i have done a lot faster one uh, more specifically the 5000 percent damage boost editor if you remember put it up here you know that thing was literally the fastest boss kill i have ever gotten and um, yeah crazy run 123 engineering 
We did test out the percentage-based damage thing. Seems like they don't really care about it. Um, yeah, that, that, that's it pretty much. We we just straight up won. 100, 209 damage to it, 173 damage to it. Man, this, this was pretty crazy. A pretty powerful run to be honest. 61 lag is also a lot. 50 harvesting with only like 5 or 6 harvesting items. Uh, not even 6, what am I talking about? We got this, this. Like 4, 12. I want to see what the math on harvest is actually. Uh, this is harvest 10. So I invested into 12, 22 harvest. I invested into 22 harvest. Unless I'm blind and don't remember what else gives harvest. Uh, I might be blind, I might not remember what exactly gets harvest, but whatever, yeah, I, I invested into 22 harvest as far as I can see here and it became 50. So, as you can understand, it gave us a lot more than uh, 220 coins, the harvesting alone. And then the big bang also gave us like a thousand plus. Would be really nice if there was a bunch of, if there were a bunch of statistics about a lot of things. Like, what of these things did the most damage? What of these things did the most damage? What of these things gave you the most money? What, uh, how you got the money, right? Would be nice to see an analysis of how you got the money. Uh, for example, uh, 300 coins from harvesting, uh, 1,500 coins from piggy bank, and uh, the, the 10,000 coins from uh, killing opponents, you know, throughout the run or whatever. Uh, something like that would be nice. And also what did the most damage and how much damage it did. Uh, in general, seeing stats is good. Not specifically because I want to, you know, oh, look at my stats, but mostly because by seeing the stats at the end of the run, you can really quickly understand what is good and what is not. Like I'm doing Rogue Genesia, where at the very end you can see the damage that everything does. And the same goes with Vampire Survivors. Like you do a run, and then at the end you see what did what damage, and then you can know, okay, I guess wrench is a trash item. Or you know, I, I guess, um, where's this thing? This thing, I guess a landmines are trash, you know, but right now I don't know if landmines are trash. It does say that it does 133 damage, and I was also seeing it explode once in a while, but I, I cannot factually sit down and say, yes, this is actually busted because it gets a kill once in a while. Uh, of course, in the stats, it would also say how many kills it got, right? So it could have said, for example, landmines did uh, 2,000 damage, but it only got 15 opponents. So you would know that, okay, I had three landmines and it only got 15 kills, it's, it's useless. So yeah, there's there's that, I guess. So yeah, that, that, that's it in my opinion. Uh, really decent run. I did enjoy that, of course. And we also had 43 dodge and 19 armor, so we were literally death immune, especially with 81 uh, thing, uh, 81 uh, max health HP and also the healing. I'm a bit unlucky that I didn't find the don't move items, but honestly, as I said, we, we threw away about 20 uh not yeah i would say about 20 to 30 rerolls were thrown away just by sitting there with the lock shop and just amassing money through the piggy bank so if you don't enjoy the whole idea of how i'm using the piggy bank by the way comment down below and tell me especially this way i used it today i, I want to actually have an uh, a discussion about this i mean discussion you comment i read it and then i i use that material to you know change my opinion on the fact do you enjoy this whole idea of if i find the piggy bank at a, a, a nearly enough encounter and then the run is ready like if my build is pretty much ready i just uh, amass money from wave 10 to wave 15 or something or, or 16 you know i amass money and then i start spending it slowly towards the end of the run or do you think it's more fun to just not play with the piggy bank uh, i mean specifically not playing this way with the piggy bank because buying the piggy bank and using it once in a while is i think okay with everybody but i want to see this this whole idea of not buying things for three and four and four or five rounds if it is uh, something you found like smart and enjoyable or if it's like something that removes fun for your uh, you know in your opinion now of course there are always comments that say sift do whatever you want and i am doing whatever i want that's why i did this thing with the piggy bank right now you know i'm doing what i want i'm having fun and then i'm trying to get feedback from it so that i you know change my play style around into something more enjoyable or don't change my place all around because uh, i disagree with you you know there is a good chance that your opinion might be actually something that is gonna make me even more want to play with the piggy bank so don't you guys be afraid i have an opinion of my own anyway that is going to be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like helps out and if you want to subscribe too that would also help out but it would mostly help you see more videos i guess i don't know subscription at this point don't even work how they're supposed to but it helps out definitely we're going close to 100k i'm maybe get the the, the pack man guys I'm, I'm gonna get the, the frame thing I'm, I'm so excited about it anyway that is it thanks for all the patreon supporters uh, and the memberships of course with those emojis found the emojis in the comments below and yeah thanks for watching and see you guys what what's my outro <laughs> thanks for watching and see you guys around